Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I'm back using the Heartbeat tool, and I want to show you something completely different, something totally unique, new, that I haven't shown you yet using the tool here. Of course, if you're following along, it's at h.ki. Now, if you look on the left side, normally you just click on the home, and you see a whole bunch of the latest Heartbeats, some of the most popular ones. But look down here, there's a new button. Well, it's not that new, but it's new for me. <laughs> I'm going to click on the Creators tab here, and when I do that, you can see here that I can follow a whole bunch of different people. For example, George Venus has 69 followers. What a ironic number. Good job, George. <laughs> so he's the big boss up there rolling it in. But look down here. There's all of these people using the tool. And the one that I want to talk to you about today, I'm going to show you right here. It's this world of nifty craft. And the reason why I'm going to click on them is simple. This is a game developer and they're using the heartbeat tool to go through a long presentation and then isolate the moments that are important for like their Q&A team and their development team. Let me show you. So I clicked on their on their icon there and I've taken me to their page. So I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to follow them. So I'm just going to click on follow and then I'm going to click on videos. And then or actually you know what let's just click on moments because I think they only have one video. So here we go. I've clicked on their moments. Now look at this. They've just used the tool. But if I look at their at the titles here and the names of their, their videos, it's intro and then it's feedback, feedback, feedback. So what they're doing is they're just going through a big long feedback cycle as developers and as Q&A type people. And they're going to isolate that and send that to their dev team. So let me show you how it works. The first, vi the first moment they've selected is called intro. And this is all their own selections. This is not my selection. So you can watch other people's stuff just the same. So here we go. Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to the first edition of Ungraceful Defiance, or uh, we could call it the Hell No Show. Or so there you go, they've already started off, it's kind of funny here, and again, it starts off pretty quickly, and what they're doing is they're basically just introducing themselves, who they are, and why they're creating this uh, YouTube video, so I'll just watch it a little further here. Hell yes. It depends on the suggestions and uh, ideas that we collected from the previous playtest, which is... So there you go. So what's happening is they've had a playtest. They've created a game, and just so you know, I'm not totally making this up here. You'll see here on Steam, it's called The World of Nifty Craft, and here it is. Like, I mean, please, I'll put a link in the description below. Check it out. But they've got, like, you know, this open-world uh, sandbox multiplayer RPG, and they say it's featuring real-time card battler combat that's a mouthful but look at that so there you go you got pvpve battles etc of course go check out the game but hey why not add it to your wish list it doesn't cost you any money and it's good for everybody so there you go and also they've got their own youtube channel and they've had some play tests so they've got a quick gameplay overview here if you want to see the game in action and then they've got examples of the card battler in action i'm not trying to sell the game to you guys i'm just showing you that you know, if you're using the Heartbeat tool, there are multiple reasons why you could use this. This is just another unique example. So there we go. That's the intro. They sort of introduced themselves. Now let's look at some feedback and what they're using the tool for. So the first one from Zore. In the tutorial area, I felt a little forced down the warrior route. But I could have played a bow, dagger, or magic type class as well, which I wasn't really aware of. The quests pointed you towards the sword spear stuff, but you would have had to go looking for other things. Whereas I think it would be beneficial to have some explanation in the quests that you make bows and daggers here and magic stuff here instead of throwing us right, in, right to the forge where you make the warrior stuff. All right, so that is excellent feedback. I don't know how many video games I've played where... You start off and you don't really know what you're doing and there's no demo, there's no tutorial, there's no, you know, hey, here's where the, here's what we're doing. Uh, you just start getting your gun or your sword or whatever and you just go to work and then you go back, you know, you know, after you've played the game for a few hours and go, what the hell, I could have been an archer <laughs> or I could have been a mage because I like to play mages. So there you go. There's the feedback. They're going through it step by step. They're incorporating it. Let's see the next piece of feedback, which they've momented at 18 minutes, which is the Volygon feedback. Now to the next one, Volygon. Volygon. Volygon takes it simple. He has 
one two sentences per per suggestion per feedback. Uh, so let's start with the first one. He wants a feature to drag and drop from inventory to trash items. Simple request, a good one, a feature to drag and drop items into your trash. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it, it seems like a, a simple request, but hey, guys, I mean, if you think about this from the, the uh, I guess I guess they call it Ungraceful Defiance, but what's the company name here? They're um, the, 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 the Craftware Tech uh, or the World of Nifty Craft, whatever. I don't know. One of the, whatever the heck their, their developer name is, uh, they're, t they're taking in community feedback and especially in the early stages before release. How many times have we played games that, you know, it just you can tell the developers didn't incorporate feedback and the game launches and it's a complete mess? These guys are doing the right thing here. So let's keep going a little bit more. The next one is from Sandy Oreos. What the hell kind of name is that? Anyways, let's listen. We have one from Sandy Oreos. Diffuse Feasibility. I think that's the same one as like... Uh... Respecting, right? Like uh, ah, yeah. going down to your base material and yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, or is it to like uh, uh, cancel the ability of the opponent? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Because we have fusing, so I think they mean cool. diffusing. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. That one wasn't uh, as useful, perhaps. Um, but uh, we'll go forward a bit here. Dark Raiden. I do remember this one being pretty useful, and then we'll wrap it up. Starting with uh, uh, Dark Raiden, uh, loot all button. Loot all, <coughs> big, uh, big controversy here. <laughs> yeah, this is something so, we were discussing for a long time. Really? Yeah. Okay, but we, haven't, I, reached, we haven't reached a decision. <laughs> we did actually. That you decided that we. What did you decide? You decided that we don't need a, a do loot all button. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> kind of neat. Uh, the the community's asking for it, and the developers aren't sure. So let's see how this uh, turns out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark Raiden. We we're uh, talking about. Uh, we reached, I think, your list of uh, feedback. So there you go. They they, they identified the issue. Uh, they've dealt with it internally. It sounds like they're not a hundred percent convinced of the path they're going to go down. Although, tentatively, they don't want to loot all bu uh, button uh last one here is the outro this is where they just say goodbye there's one more piece of feedback but i think you guys have got the uh you've got the hint on as to how this works here so let's click on the outro and uh that's it we're done congratulations <laughs> congrats <laughs> thank you everybody uh for uh, listening in thank you for every, any, anyone who everyone who uh, in, uh, interacted with mm. the stream, Dark Raiden, and some others, I can't remember the names, Mahoui and HSN. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably have this recording up on YouTube, on YouTube. Yep. So there you go. It's just a goodbye. But I mean, these are their moments that they identified. And I mean, some of them are, are obviously better than the others. But I mean, the point is, is they're using the heartbeat tool. They're using it in a unique way. They're game developers. They've obviously gone through a long, long presentation, identified the moments and the pieces of feedback that matter most. At least they could send this heartbeat moment or series of moments onto their developers who can just go, oh, yeah, I can incorporate this feedback, that feedback. And there you go, guys. So just a unique thing. Lastly, of course, I mean, they were good enough to use the tool and they used it. So, of course, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Below, pardon me, the world of Nifty Craft. Please go uh, put it on your Wish Steam list. Uh, do what you got to do. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back soon with some more stuff. Thank you for watching.